How's it going guys? My name's iAlien. Today I'm back on another Identity 5 video. Today I will be going over the patch notes for the July 31st slash August 1st update. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get right into the patch notes for the new update. Okay, so the maintenance content for this week. The big news is that a new hunter will be available the Geyser. Use clues or echoes to purchase during the first week of availability. The Geyser can only be used in quick and custom games like every new character. So the cool thing about her is instead of having to wait a week to buy her and only being able to get her through luck in the essence, you can buy her right up front for 4,500 clues and play with her day one, I will be buying her as soon as this new update comes out as I have saved up enough clues in preparation of her. And from watching gameplay, I do believe that she will be the best hunter in the game. But I'll get more into that later. Next, store. For a limited time only, the floating petals pack which contains the Hunter Geisha, the Geisha's Bride costume, and the Butterfly Hairpin accessory can be purchased at 32% off the original price available from August 1st to August 15th. This is basically how it was for the forward. When he came out, you have the pack with the character, the costume, and then the accessory to uh, accessorize the costume. So if you do want to get that, you can also buy that with Echoes. Next, characters, the survivor, the mind's eye is available in the in-game store. Clues or Echoes can be used to purchase the survivor. The mind's eye will be made available in ranked matches after purchase. So she is available in ranked now. She will cost around 3,500 clues. So if you have been waiting to get her, the week has passed by, you can now buy her. So we do have two new characters that you can buy outright. One new hunter and one new survivor. The Mind's Eye, from what I've seen, does seem to be pretty good. I haven't had a chance to play with her just yet, but her decoding speed is very quick. I did, on the last patch notes video, I discussed all of her traits so watch that if you want to know about that and she does seem that she can be viable if you are skilled next store update of exchangeable items using fragments the following costumes can be exchanged using fragments the mind's eye dark cake smiley face the prisoner costume thief the painter costume and mercenary cloak costume and the future exchangeable items will be updated regularly so this is very good news that they are providing a use for fragments in the chinese version of the game there's many costumes that you can buy using fragments but in this version there it was really lacking so it's good news that they have released a statement saying that exchangeable items will be updated regularly um and i'm very excited because these are all really good skins that cost five real dollars but now i should have the enough fragments to buy one of these skins uh and all of them are really cool like the painter skin i think that's the best skin for the thief and the cloak skin i actually like that more than the spring hand skin because it's basically assassin's creed and looks really cool. And then the prisoner costume. I main smiley face. So I'll definitely buy that one. Next in the store. The first ground pet. Mr. Whiskers and the gardener's flower girl costume. Are available in the store. I haven't seen the new costume. I have seen the new ground pet. Mr. Whiskers. He's a cat. I will show you a picture of him. But he looks really cool. And now. This is the first pet that's, of course, not flying. So depending on the amount of fragments slash echoes he costs, I will buy him with fragments. I'll have to see if I will buy him or the prisoner skin for smiley face. Now that I'll be using Geisha, I may not even need that skin anymore. 
Next function improved the artistic imagery and adjusted the layout of the event interface. If I can find the last. Okay. Um, they corrected erroneous talent description. Uh, the uh, bug fix for invites. Bug fix for whether Garner had unlimited toolkits. Whether ca were characters other than the Garner had unlimited toolkits. That's pretty funny. Phraseology. A bug fix for that. And like always a language bug fix. So thank you for supporting Identity 5. We will continue to attach gifts to in-game mails as compensation so it should be 200 clues as always f as compensation so now let's end the video by first looking at a video of the new hunter and then i will go over her skills and i will uh share my opinion on how good i think she will be so first this is the new pet mr whiskers and he definitely looks r really cool Let's look at the video. So that was the video showcasing Geisha. I think they have another video. Is this the same one? Let me. Okay. This is showing the new bride costume for her, which looks really cool. So yeah, that's some gameplay of Geisha so you can see her in action. Now let's go over her traits and her skills. So she will cost 4,500 clues and 858 echoes. The Geisha Machiko, which is known as the Red Butterfly, met the foreign military officer Myers at the banquet and then fell in love with him. They held a wedding in the local area and returned to Myers' hometown together. But this marriage was strongly opposed by Myers' father. He sneered at Machiko all day, hoping to drive her out of the house. Soon, Myers left the house one day because of the public, and Machiko disappeared mysteriously from the home. Myers' father claimed that she ran away with the servant and quickly asked her son, to marry his new wife. Myers started going out day after day to find Machiko, but no one knew where she went. Aisha has three different modalities, presenting beauty when calm, small, warning radius, and movement speed is faster, presenting pragna when, or maybe prajna, when angry, bigger warning radius movement speed is slow. Being panicked when the survivor looks at her face. Alert radius has no change, but movement speed slows down. Prajna modalities. Geisha changes the Prajna status. She can ignore the terrain and rush to the survivor closest to the center of her vision. However, she is afraid of the sight of others. So when a survivor looks at her face, the skill is invalid. Flying. Geisha changes to Prajna status. She jumps into the sky and overlooks the whole environment. She is afraid of the sight of others. So once again, when the survivor looks at her face, the skill is invalid. 
Guy should change his to status. She can ignore the terrain and rush to the survivor closest to the center of her vision. However, she is afraid of the sight of others. So when a survivor looks at her face, the s- skill is invalid. So she excels off of survivors not looking at her. I believe when she goes, rushes into a survivor, they get like a QTE, a quick time event. That lets them press a button to look at her, which will then stop her rush or stop her flying, whatever she's doing. Uh, If they press it, that stops her. But when they don't, she can rush through any terrain and no matter if there's a pallet down or whatever. I do think teleport is a good skill to run with her. I will be figuring out what is the best build i'll probably make a video on the best build for geisha i'll make a video on gameplay maybe a character guide for her. um and i can't wait to buy her she looks to be really fun to play really cool she also looks to be very very viable and probably the best hunter in the game so in a week once she becomes available in ranked you should start seeing her as well as the clown instead of just being a clown fest as it is right now she should enter the matter as one of the best hunters and i will make my hunter tier list video once i get to play with her that's why i have been holding out on that video so because i knew she was coming out and she would definitely change the matter So, if you did enjoy the video, if it was informative, please leave a like on the video. And please subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers. Every subscriber counts. Bye.